Okay, so I didn't mean to start this video this way, but uh, here is my new lift. Um, I just got off the truck. It's dark outside, so I wouldn't have been able to film anything anyways. Um, a liftgate truck brought it. I paid an extra $100 for home delivery with liftgate service. Uh, it weighs, it's supposed to weigh 1,100 pounds. It is heavy, very heavy. Uh, we drug it down here with my Ranger uh, from the street. The guy didn't want to come down my driveway. It's pretty steep. Uh, that's all fine and well. Um, so we uncovered it, and I got the hydraulic pump there. Uh, so far, I'm pretty happy with it. It looks it looks what like what I wanted. Um, uh, it has a couple four by fours under the skids that I have to I have to lift up. Uh, I have to get the motor out and get hydraulic pressure to lift them up to unscrew those uh, four by fours there. So uh, I need to go get that, but it is in the garage and I'm going to do probably a few, uh, you know, I, I'll show you about it. If you're curious, this is a twin bush, um, lift. I talked to the lady. Uh, this is what I like everything about this one and the price. It was 1899. Um, with everything all said and done, I got the, the wheel quit, the mobility kit, the wheel kit and, uh, um, got it with it and then the service shipped to, to my house um and then the shipping everything all said and done was twenty four hundred dollars you guys from youtube bought this for me um, all the videos that you've watched and um the money i've collected from the ad revenue from adsense bought this lift so uh thank you very much for that thank you for watching this video there's gonna be more to come on it um you know, as, as I get it set up, I'll take a little more to add to this video, but, uh, I'm super happy with it so far. I mean, obviously I just got off the truck, so I don't know how I could not be happy with it yet, but it looks heavy duty. And, uh, yeah, next I gotta get that motor out the hydraulic motor and get hooked up, get fluid in it. And I'll show you the next part. So, uh, I went, my wife went and got me uh, some hydraulic fluid from Tractor Supply. I put 303 hydraulic tractor hydraulic fluid in. They said to use like 0W50 or something. Uh, I didn't do that. It takes 5 liters, which is uh, about 1.3 gallons of fluid. I filled it up. And uh, I raised it once and lowered it. And I will show you. I wouldn't go back down. And I'll show you why. But uh, I'll give you a demonstration of it going up, coming back down. Um, it's a pretty simple setup. Uh, you just plug the wires together and then uh, hook up the two hydraulic lines. Real simple, and I'll show you what all I had to hook up uh, here in a moment. But watch it go up and come down. It's, it's right about here on me, so that'll lift a, a vehicle as far as I need to. Um, it'll make it a lot easier for me to change brakes, rotate tires, change oil, uh, all the little tests that I do. Um, I don't get into a, a bunch of really uh, in-depth jobs, but um, as far as like transmissions, engines, I don't really do that, but I do pretty much everything else. Uh, I haven't had a car to the shop ever. Um, I've never, never taken a car to, oh, July. My wife's Explorer, after I wrecked my motorcycle last year, we took it to get a, uh, part of the cooling system fixed. Other than that, never, never, uh, so I'm gonna lift it. You can see what, uh, see what it looks like. It, uh, it's got this little panel, lights up when it's, uh, it's off right now and it's, it, it's highlighted off. Flip that, green button comes on. This, make sure this is out. This is the emergency uh, safety switch, shut off switch. And then just hit the up button.
Now, let me show you. Um, as it's going up, the locks are clicking. And this is, uh, this is some sort of valve. When I had it up, it wouldn't come down until I turned this valve. And when it, I just had to turn it again to get it to go up. So I don't, I don't understand that yet. I'm going to have to read about that. But uh, you could see the locks as it's going up. As it's going up, it's clicking. So if you're ever putting it up and you want to use it, you need to get it to come back. Let's see, it won't go down right now. Um, but that is this. I turn this till it comes out. And then you see how it came back down onto the locks. Um, so when you hit... Okay. Alright, I'm going to have to figure this out. Okay, there's that. Alright, i got to figure this out. Hold on. Okay, so here we go. I figured out what's going on. Um, and it was just, I didn't read the instructions like I should have. Um, but this was hanging here. And this slides, you have this in the lock position. The thing that threw me off was when this came, uh, there is a cap that was on this, which I don't know where it's at now. Maybe in my pocket. Um, yeah, this cap was on here like that. And I was just looking around to figure out what, you know, where this might go. Didn't put two and two together. This, that's in the locked position, and I'll show you. That's unlocked. That's locked. That slides over. And that tightens up on it. Now, you could see when I hit the unlock, it flips the tabs and lets it down. Back up. So that is a, and you can see it lit up right there. That is a magnetic, uh, magnetically operated check valve of some sort. Um, so when it's, it's energized, it's energizing a magnet that is pulling the valve to let it go up and down. Now, the, uh, the instructions say um, to make it go up and down at least three times before you put a, a vehicle on it. Uh, I'm going to do it probably four or five more times, and then I'm going to use the wheel kit to move it to uh, where I want it before I pull a vehicle on it. But uh, so far, it was super simple setup. If I would have read the uh, instructions, it pro I probably wouldn't have uh, struggled with that in the first place. But I'm gonna let me move it, and uh, we'll go from there. Well, I'm gonna have to see what's going on now. It goes up that far, almost off the ground, and uh, that's it. You can maybe see what's going on over here. With that, I'm gonna have to go read.
So right here, <clears throat> right here, there's a black and a white wire. That is the power into this thing. And uh, I talked to Dan at Twin Bush, and he said, typically, when this situation happens, when the lift won't go up, it's either because um, you don't have enough, I guess, inrush current. You don't have enough um, power to keep this, to keep it um, fully powered. It's basically running out of the, uh, energy. And I will show you how the plug that I am using this off of is set up. And that could be, could be the reason. But um, I'm going to switch leads. I just switch these leads back and forth. Um, but he wants me to try to raise it up and see what kind of uh, see what kind of voltage it maintains as it's actually um, in action. Uh, trying to lift a car because it'll go up and down fine without. Hurts. Okay. I hope you can see that. I will uh, give you a recap of what is going on. Right now, it's got 116 volts. So I'm going to try to raise it up and we'll see what it goes down to once it gets pressure on it. So it's going down to about 75 volts. Um, and that's not enough to maintain this motor, the operation of this motor. So hold on one second, baby girl, I'm making a YouTube video. What is going to happen is I am going to either, well, first I'm going to try to run a uh, individual, individual, individually dedicated line uh, from my sub panel in the garage over to where I'm going to have this typically. Um, I'm going to run it with a heavier gauge wire. Um, this is probably 12 gauge wire coming into here. So I want it to be at least 12 gauge from over there. Now, the plug that I have it going to is a plug that is piggybacked from this one to that one to that one to, to several outlets and then over to the uh, over to the main breaker. So. I am going to come in here with a single, single uh, wire dedicated from the uh, sub panel. And hopefully that will maintain, let me see if I can tell what kind of, well, it doesn't much matter, but I'm going to use 12 gauge probably maybe. Uh, and then we will see if this will maintain the voltage it needs to, uh, voltage it needs. So that'll be tomorrow. Uh, and if that doesn't work, then I will use a electromagnetic, um, electromagnetic, I think it was what he called, yeah, said, electro, Rue, please stop. I will use an electromagnetic um, breaker. I think that's what he said. It basically stores energy so it can uh, power whatever you need with uh, maintain the voltage. So. Tomorrow, we will see about a dedicated line, and if that doesn't work, then we will see about the breaker. Okay, uh, I am back. I just have a, uh, a line directly from the circuit breaker panel to this I rigged up. Um, I'm going to install it right, but I wanted to see if this is going to fix it or not uh, before I go and hardwire it all in. Um, so, here's the car. I will, uh, well, you can just see. Here we go. First stop. Second stop. Third. Fourth. Fifth. That's all it's got. Now I am five nine, and it puts I don't know how well it puts the tire at about at about uh, 
and my stomach. So, you know, this is going to be great. I will be able to stand and change brakes. Um, I, I'm just, I'm really excited about this. It's, it, it, you know, it doesn't have much room on the ceiling, but it goes right to the garage door opener. And uh, the whole car's off the ground. Um, yeah, there's going to be more more videos to come um, using this thing and everything, but uh, so far we got that worked out. I'm going to hardwire that that uh, line. I'm probably going to mount it on the ceiling right there so it'll just drop down, and then I won't have hoses running across. So the installation on this lift is complete. Uh, it's, I mean, there's not much to it other than drag it in the garage, um, set it up, and make sure you have a, enough power. So uh, I'm, I ran a dedicated line to, uh, to, from the fuse box to this, and uh, I, placed it, I placed it above it because it's just more convenient for me to not have uh, the cord out across the floor. Um, so uh, I also want to thank Okayist Farmer. He is the reason I started my YouTube channel. Uh, he started his, and I... I thought it was dumb, um, but he stuck with it, and then I started it, and here we are now being able to buy things that help us. Um, yeah, so you should check out his channel. He's got a lot of good content. Uh, World's Okay's Farmer, Mark. He's my buddy. I work with him. Um, so thanks for watching. Why don't you subscribe? What'd you say? Why don't you just there you go. Thanks.